me riding elephants, you know, uh, see all the various uh, ceremonial sites, and, and you look down on some of the road. It, it was very, very beautiful. And, and um, one of the one of the um, one of the weekly things that in the, in the office would be, okay, bright. Well, what are we going this weekend? You know. So it was. It was just. You know, and I guess looking back on, it, I guess. It was fairly safe, but then too, I guess I'm, I'm sure we took precaution to make sure we didn't run out of gas, you know, something of that nature. So. Did they give you a hop out of, uh, out of Karate for, for a seven day hop to get out? Uh, to go to like to Hawaii or something like that? Yeah. R and R, they call it? Yeah, I, I had the opportunity to do some art. I, I, I canceled out. I think I was I was slated to go to Singapore or Hong Kong or something. I, I don't know why that never happened. The only, but only, the biggest R and R I probably took was down to Bangkok. I went down to Bangkok and uh, maybe spent a week or something. I, I can't think of it, but um, I do recall that um, I, had, I had scheduled to, it was either Singapore or Hong Kong, one of them. And for some reason, though, it was either I canceled, it was canceled, and and so that, that I didn't take any out of country R and R, which I which was available to me, but I didn't take it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <clears throat> I guess Karate is located in a kind of like a jungle area. I mean, is, is it really triple canopy jungle around there someplace very close? I, I think it's in up a, it's above about 60 miles from Bangkok, and I think it's a, a kind of the northwest corner or the central, but it was outside of Karate. Well, downtown Karate, we would go down. That was a, a regular, I think it was a decent-sized city. But I'm sure outside, at least where we were, as I recall, where we were, Going doing our weekend travel in the jeep, you know, it was it was fairly a lot of forest. You know? A lot of forest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. The, I can't recall the you know the, the deep the so called was it topography or whatever that, that was. And the uh, how was there were the clubs for you to do? I guess you were since you were you were actually you were attached to the air force. You were actually uh, working on the air. Uh, well, we were working with the army, air force. Army detachment well, working with the air force. Well, we were there's an army base. And I can't remember the name of that base, but, but then you had the air force base, which was I guess designated Karat. But the, we were have we our own station. We were our own, you know, self supporting. Unit. Who did you report to? Uh, my 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 company commander reported to. Well, that, that it was a brigadier general that con controlled the army. Side of it. The only reason I know this because going to work, I would pass his his compound. He's out there playing tennis with a lieutenant or something, you know. Um, so the, the, there was an army brigadier general that took care of that. It could have been Freedom Base or something. That, that kind of stands in my mind. Freedom Base or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the army portion. And the uh, army Air Force portion, I think it was called Karate Air Force Base or something. And so, but we were a support command. I can't remember the U.S. Army support or something. It was, it was, it was a support command and our detachment, which is primarily a movement control support detachment, before when we were at Fort Bragg, we were assigned to the 18th Airborne Corps, so mm -hmm. to speak, that controlled that. But it was something similar when we went to Thailand, we were in that same hierarchical, hierarchical structure, where we were responsible for movement control, all the freight and personnel and materiel that was coming in and out of the country of Thailand. And we were, even food, you know, we would, when they had some, we would, uh, they would they would have to go through us when the food is coming in because the ships got bombed in in, in Vietnam or something. The ships that had food, I can't remember the the, 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 the ocean or, or the river or the lake, but there several ships got bombed, and so we we didn't get any food because everything was hung up, and and we I think we I recall we ate roast beef for about two weeks or something. <laughs> the mess all they all they ate was roast beef, you know, so something like that you know. But well, the Air Force eat pretty well. Otherwise, they had pretty good food. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, yeah. That was it was good. It was we ate we ate pretty good. And did you stay in those huts the whole time you were there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I never graduated to anything finer than the than the hut. So Karat wasn't the uh, an R and R center. Bangkok mm -hmm. was an R and R center. Bangkok probably was an R and R center. It was, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was. Yeah, because Bangkok was you know major city like it is today. It was, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm sure individuals. Mm -hmm. Some of some of the individuals I know they they will they will go from Vietnam to Bangkok as opposed to you know Singapore or Hong Kong or, or Hawaii or something yeah but right right you know, Karai was more of a purely a purely you know military operation but a lovely town lovely city hey, as far as that a lot of lot of temples and things like that yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what did you do with, uh, what kind of recreation did you do when you were off duty well pretty much 